Buffalo, New York, Uvalde, Texas, and now Tulsa, Oklahoma. All three cities rocked by mass shootings within just the past month, ending the lives of dozens of people, including children. And tonight, President Biden is saying enough is enough. As gun control legislation is stalling in Congress, the president is tonight addressing the nation and urging action. He says that while we can't prevent every tragedy, he believes that there are rational, common sense measures that we can take now to curb gun violence. We need to ban assault weapons in high capacity magazines. And if we can't ban assault weapons, then we should raise the age to purchase them from 18 to 21. Strengthen background checks, enact safe storage law and red flag laws, repeal the immunity that protects gun manufacturers from liability. At least 35 people have been killed in mass shootings in America just since May 17th. 10 in Buffalo, 21 in Uvalde, including 19 children, and yesterday, four in Tulsa. Republican Congressman Dan Crenshaw is here in town tonight discussing border security, and we asked him about his thoughts on gun control before his meeting in Conroe. When it comes to guns, I mean, Republicans, Republicans have offered before and, and continue to offer in the future better fixes to the NICS program, so background checks. Uh, you don't want anybody to fall through the cracks. You don't want anyone, want anyone to have a gun that cannot pass a background check for good reason. Now, Congressman Crenshaw is just one of many lawmakers on both sides of the aisle working together now to come up with some type of gun control legislation that both sides can agree on. Fox's Aisha Hasney takes a deeper look at the proposals. If the filibuster obstructs us, we will abolish it. If the Supreme Court objects, we will expand it. Now we know where they want to go. Their real beef is with the Second Amendment. Enough with these bogus arguments about the Second Amendment. Members of the House Judiciary Committee spar over a sweeping new gun control package Democrats call the Protecting Our Kids Act. It is the first batch of gun legislation to get a hearing since a Uvalde school shooting. Among the many reforms, Democrats aim to raise the minimum age to buy a semi-automatic rifle from 18 to 21 and ban new sales of high-capacity magazines. I suspect that gun laws will be about as effective at keeping guns out of the hands of madmen and terrorists and criminals as our drug laws have been keeping drugs out of the hands of addicts. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wants a vote on the package and other gun control measures as early as next week. But anything that passes the House is expected to stall in the Senate, which requires 10 Republican votes. Democrats say they have a reason for pushing such an ambitious plan. We're going to pass the strongest legislation that we can. We don't control the Senate. Uh, if the Senate acts, uh, we'll consider what they have done. A small group of bipartisan senators is trying to act, negotiating its own gun deal behind closed doors. It's red flag laws. It's improving our background check system. It's more money for mental health. But even if senators clear all the hurdles, it's unclear if liberal Democrats will accept anything that in their minds doesn't go far enough. Because America is not deserving of nickel, nickel and dime legislation. So you could have a situation where you lose the margins, but it's expected that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi could deliver the votes no matter what kind of deal comes out of the Senate. On Capitol Hill, I'm Aisha Hasani, Fox News.